you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Fujita or the Whale? Apparently, the Corps figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters. Afraid.
guess that's all of them. Attention. Code Red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff. Attention! Code Red has been initiated throughout Kimpeki Plaza.
Bug, how you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. A couple hours? Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? What do you think? Why'd you give it... Hmm? Who gave... Ah, fuck him. Why do I need to care about some bougie prick and his street kid fantasies? <laughs> Must have been a who, huh? I'm Yori Nobu Arasak. <laughs> and that... Calm. Got bored. <laughs> Tourist or not, and we are back in penthouse security. Perfecto. Let's start the show. Hey, Buck. We're, uh... Three and a half hours. Mean the one of mine? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. Silence. You, uh, wanna hear a joke? Now? Seriously? Okay. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dead zone's my guest. Have him back in a sec. And you do your damn job. There, under the floor. 
Look around for a switch. and make us rich. On it. Your turn, Bug. Give me two. We got winged visitors. Bug! Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. How much longer, T? Shit, you're in Obu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Cream. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bioshard integrity, 100%. Guessing that's a yes. Good, let's go. to walk in, find cover. Where? That pillar, try that. You fucking kidding? No, inside it, now. We're in. Which don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? I thought I don't smash her. Bodyguard. Ours. Night City legend. を突っ込まないでくれって言っただろう。ホフファック。アズシュドゥフェ。アナサカ様。まだボディチェックが終わっていません。私の息子だ。例のものを回収しましょうか。私がやる。言ってくれ。そもそも俺のことを気にしたことなんかないだろう。あんたの問題点はそこだ。世界は自分中心に回ってると思ってる。傲慢だよ。よりのど。どうしてここへ。直々に俺に屈辱を合わせ。立場を思い知らせるために
ついに越えてはならない一線を越えたのだこれまでお前の向こうには目をつぶってきただがそれもここまでだこの裏切りだけは決して許せぬ貴様の母親が生きていなくてよかった息子の不甲斐ない姿を目の当たりにして心を痛めずに済んだ Now, Jackie. And dropping. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's gotta slot the relic into your neural port. What the hell are you talking about? The relic can't be isolated, it has to be nested in a safe environment. Well, someone's gotta do it. In the nombre del padre. Espíritu Santo. Amén. Jackie, you okay? No, no. I guess. Don't feel any different. Once you're back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it. Dell. We'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We gotta somehow reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. And we best be quick. <sighs> oh, I see. Great. Now let's get out of here. Red has been initiated throughout. 
during the floor. Pause. Did you check the Zen rooms? Yes, all clear. Nothing strange out of the ordinary. Well, the door to the terrace damaged. Then take another look.
attacked me! Security clearance. Like some divine comedy. 
Shit. <laughs> Think all this is funny? Yeah, I do. Your liver could be fucked. Had it coming. <laughs> but she'll be. We'll get out alive. Why? Cause you fucking say so? Don't take this out on me. How the chips are falling.
Why? Cause you fucking say so? Don't take this out on me. I can see how the chips are falling.
a little. I will personally find you and bury you. If you don't fucking drive! Not bad. Client feedback noted. How's our ride looking? Tip top. Though alas, we are being pursued. Please remain calm. Huh? Roadblock ahead. I can't for it. Leave it to me. Jackie, we fucking made it! <sighs> I guess we did. My medical diagnostics indicate that Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Take us to a river dock, now! Apologies, but that will not be possible. Our itinerary has been prearranged and paid for in advance. I am not at liberty to alter it. Fuck your liberty! Do what I say! It's okay, V. I'm gonna... I'll hold out. I suggest you try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. We'll be getting preem jobs left and right now. Hear me, Jack? You're gonna be rich, mijo. I can feel it. No, Jackie! We're gonna be rich, you and me! Excelsior package provides for the disposal of passenger remains free of charge. I merely require a destination. Nowhere. Stay here and don't move. I'll be right back. Understood. Mr. Deshawn awaits you in room number 204.
He waiting. WNS, N54, even the pirate networks. You blowing up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car? Yeah, he's there. Dead. Condolences, friend. And the relic. Got it right here. Hmm. I was afraid of that. What? Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking Emperor! His Majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! Gotta leave Night City. You don't say. Ring Evelyn. We close the deal, collect our cut, and drop off the radar. All right, settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. Parker, Eddie's. Then we leave the city limits behind. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up. Same risk it be. Remember our first convo? Dex! What the Seems fuck? Seems I've chosen the quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. What curled up your ass? Nice. Then we can talk. How much do you want for it? Wait up! Don't do this! You could still change your mind.
Want to see me give up? Sounds like something you'd do. Know why? Because you've always been a fucking pussy, Carrie. Offer you one piece of advice, for old time's sake. Stop being one. Time to bring on the future. You're late! Love it when you're mad. Gets my southern blood pumping. Get it? Silverhand! Hey, Shaden! Get us in the air! Here, put this on, and it stays on! Got it? on the elevator, arm it, let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation, tower crumbles, chaos, screaming roll credits. Come out! Jacking in. Is grass green? Do birds fly? Do cats eat gnats? Do rats shit gnats? Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy, come on! Evac announcement! Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. And that's coming from a chair jock. Come on! Neutralize!
Ashido 2, Bomb's name is what? The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite the incoming! Out of there, Run Johnny. for it! Shoot the cables! Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. Fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. Gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take a look. Turn now to Arasaka ah, Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Imbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof, quick! Johnny boy, told you I'd end you someday. Let's try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire a fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? 
in that tower. But there are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you freak.人は嘘をつき自分自身を欺くだがシャは違うシャは雄弁だが彼らは決して嘘をつかない死者の言葉には慎ましさがある始めろ And you, who are you? Heavier than he looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So, lest you and me figure this. <laughs> hmm. 
荒坂様お父様の殺害犯を見つけましたこの男で間違いありませんはい1時間後には着くかと Help me Quiet They are faint again. Keep your eyes open. Fuck. We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? You. You were. At Kumbeki Plaza. We must get to Ripadok. Quickly. Victor will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. Why? Why not just cut me loose? I'm a dead weight to you. Make the call. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. I need to get to Misty's Isotzerica. In front of Vix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. 
Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neurosockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit a vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the sockets. Now proceed to connect. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking! It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. You in there? Ah! My head. How you feeling? I don't know, Vic. Ears are ringing. And I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. So damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different. Strange. And I hated it. Hated everybody. Every inch. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another Psyche's memories? How's that possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Who? Me and who, Vic? Who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, a terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. What is? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. 
gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V, it's important you get all this. You fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay. There was... is a construct. A psyche on the chip. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die and get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I'll make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is your mind's gonna go. And it won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain could be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? Ought to just stick a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. 
Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? I gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep. You're lovely, Misty. Thanks. Good night, V. Sweet, peaceful dreams. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? should I know? The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! <laughs> Who you work for, start talking! See you never, asshole. Now like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like I'm mold like on fruit, fruit creeping, creeping into, into you. Nothing, nothing I can, I can do, do about it. About you hear me? me? I'd puke, puke if I fucking fuck. could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Kill you. Do it. What are you waiting for? Oh, fuck me.
like starting on a new chapter, a new book, a new life. Now, let's hear what the Rubicons have to say about it. Get in!
Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Ah, shit!
NCPD, open up. Barry, we know you were in there. We're here to help. and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor. So... Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I'm thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? Hmm. <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Be, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. 
I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This cooperation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. Ah, it's hot. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Yorinobu Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about a plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth.
Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found, things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead, or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know, Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogel danced any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us.
Hey, look. Hey! Hey! Haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chief. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Going. Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. You're done with that Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Sus, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Listen. Have you seen Evelyn? You need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. You need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. it wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. Luxurious.
Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Forget Evelyn. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what, no pleased to meet you? Hm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz, call me. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. She cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Kaku Akata, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then.
yesterday. Oh, hell no. Half price on everything. So, you broke it. See, the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What if I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain Dad's chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. I think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition fee. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was, you're full of shit. Got it. Oh, hold on.
Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Looking for Evelyn Parker. Does she work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I'm not a customer. Well, all the more reason to be excited. There's a first time for everyone at Clouds. It's no reason to dawdle. All you need to do is jack in. We'll create your personal profile and you'll be good to go. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky rather go with sky i couldn't have chosen better myself now for the payment and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> We have a strict no-weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Enjoy your stay. I'm Sky, and you must be Vincent. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V, you're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. 
That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Think you know me well? Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. I snuffed it once and I'm gonna do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Abby. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never... Chances of getting there is starting to look... I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? People I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. That thought alone could save your life. I think I might just be... afraid. So I imagined these things to distract myself from the thought of the void. Because that's about what greeted me before. Fear is your most effective weapon in the fight against death. So what now? Now, you find out what it is. Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you need. How do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems. Their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No.
You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat, but she could be in trouble. I just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out, and maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody can. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. Not bad. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes I am! Fuck! I almost pissed myself. Just want to talk for a little. Where's Evelyn? Need to talk to her urgently. It's important. Well, I, are you mad at her or something? No. Know where she is or not. Uh, she's not here. Talk, Tried calling her more than once. No answer. Her... She was chipped. a new faceplate in a clinic in Osaka. No, no, Oslo. That was it. Uh, Osaka or Oslo? Which is it? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, yeah, definitely Oslo. Evelyn tell you personally she was going away? Um, no, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left. Like I said. Where can I find this woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest, but we all call him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. Who is he? Um, he's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Could it be Woodman? Fuck the skull spiders hey. and these dogs. Who's there? Uh, that's what they should be replacing.
you. What do you want? Chill. Keep calm. I'm looking for a girl. Okay, Cap. Interesting work. choice for someone who plowed through massacring all along the way things got out of hand i'll admit but cooperate and no one else will get hurt i don't negotiate with terrorists Don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? Or scour his cop? That's just my work. Sold her off to a ripper. Chip was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream. Fire up! 
I'm required to return your weapons. Even hey, I don't know anything. I just work here. Nice work back there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? You think Fingers got her? You think we'll find her there? V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. You think Fingers got her? You think we'll find her there? V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. <laughs> of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H-bomb on this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. You had a plan, you tried, it fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find Hellman. Ah, oh, fuck! What the hell's that? No, 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 no damn, it. damn it. Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. I'm gonna decommish before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. I can't find the words to describe exactly how fucked up you are. I just needed a calmer moment to think. And yeah, figured since fate gave me another shot, I'll take it. To live life to the fullest? See the northern lights? Run with the mech bulls or with gazelles on a safari? To finish what I started, I'm back in the game. Want Sokka out, so I'm gonna need you in. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. Feel Listen, I know things. 
Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. So, ready? Don't trust you. Clear, right? So why would I trust in your plan? Because you've heard your death now, but you'd rather live. So if you're done bitching, I'd be happy to explain. Sound good? Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Let's get out of here. So, you ready? Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh... How you plan to smash Arisaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alta Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi.
be. You called. Do you have a moment over your time? What is it this time? Promise I called, didn't I? Promising's one thing. Keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip is damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock that goes by fingers. Oh, shit. Call in now. And where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dicky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck me. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from Clouds. All right, later, V. Hi. Place has a wicked vibe. Is it this more up your alley than clouds? Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. Can you talk? It is important. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me, the truth of events at Kompiki Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Got a message for Fingers. Comes from the Tiger Claws. And that message would be... Woo! That's right! You get him, boy! No, no. Oh, gracious I creature and, and benign who goes vi visiting to this Don't element of your us to the world with, with, with bloody stains and bruise. It's it for a friend, the king of all we own. Our prayer to him should for thy peace. All right. Hey, hey. I'm scared of your skinny ass. You will be when every mox in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you Fuck pussy. Up and leave me be. Hope that teaches those candy ass hey. suckers not to come around here no more. Hello? There's a line. Nuh uh, you ain't good. Sit 
your ass down and wait your turn. Fingers guy, you know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like? His hand sometimes slips. V, get it together. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Mocks don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs. No, why? Her joy toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in. Yeah, well, can't solve all the world's problems at once. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here? Helps me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. He chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Better than being a cripple. My friend here, she's in real sorry shape. You couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Ugh. Honey, be my guest. Well, now, hold on. Hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try to open those Come on, let's go. Yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. How about now? Better. Wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. Face pla- its previous owner had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic.
Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all? Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours, days. I'm busy right now. You, Tiger Claws? Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? These girls know you're chipping faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Know that? What do you two want? Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please. Mox have got low tolerance for scum like you. And right now, I'm the one thing standing between you and a particularly feisty and furious member of the gang. So tell me where Evelyn is, or I'll let her talk to you. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this... creature... Or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I, I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside.
I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Losing our cool won't do us any favors. It's a waste of time. Oh, I'm cool. Real fucking cool with the fact that Ev's probably already dead. You don't know that. And I'm sure as hell not gonna squander precious minutes we could spend looking. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's Head symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well... Your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something. Let me think for a sec. Dark net domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Hey, yo, man, you trying to rip us off? I got four bags listed here. That's the cut I got off Pablo. Don't like it? Take it up with him. I ain't dealing with Pablo. I'm dealing with you. That means you and me got a problem. Now, I could paint the sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't get me what I go. Oh, you want to try? Go on, son. Yourself to a little R E L A X X X. Right here, a curbside massage. No, no, gotta pay extra for that. Right here. No, no. You, uh, got any real meat back there? You mean uh, from animals? Don't be ridiculous. Looking for some company tonight? Well, you found it, baby. Did we go somewhere, or is this a dark alley type of party? I ain't 
ain't no scuzz ass slut. I got my own place. Uh, sure. Got some time to kill. Come on, baby. Something that'll keep you hard for hours. Yo, yo, ever try rainbow poppers? Purple haze? Got every color under the sun I do. Show me the range. Are you from here? We should be friends. <laughs> Close friends. <laughs> yeah, I was born in this exact spot. I mean, Night City. Maybe Have you, you been struck dumb? To eat after. <sighs> I'm from Des Moines. But this isn't a date. You pay to fuck. <laughs> Tell me I about your more. fantasies, honey. <laughs> I saved your appetite. I know how to make you happy. What do you recommend? Why do you think I can't? Looking for uh, something special. A brain dance to really. You mean smut? Nah, more hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street, has a whole lot of peculiar flicks. And I mean peculiar. back some other time betting on it how about you you buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover looking for BDs a particular kind particular you a badge give me the best of the best the ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. 
I'm no connoisseur, trust me. Huh, <sighs> sure. All I need to know is who makes them and where. Now listen, I just sell whatever sells. Nice, calm job. Let me see some eddies, you can pick one. Parse it, and I won't care a hair. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something. with that kind of fashion sense. Ordered recently. Your corp patch and the coveralls. <laughs> Scab woman. <laughs> Who knew that sides chopping people up? They were scrolling XBDs. Beat that rich synth got aroma. Cheap shit. Cold, too. Mm hmm? Buck a slice. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, Rogers logo. Come Standard for a trash heap. Okay. We're looking for an electric core power plant located so, near a bucket. Means someone's grabbing bucket slice EC regularly. Used to have a big which is not complex something someone does for flavor and fresh ingredients. Bucket slice checks out too. Pizza shares its DNA with How styrofoam. Sure, Nobody's gonna slap across town for it.
go. Old Electrocor power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. These self-proclaimed representatives of Night City's working class attempted to organize a strike, which could have led to financial losses in... Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the Death's Head Moth. All these scroll of snuff, then... Stop it. There'd have to be utter gongs to waste here on something like that. into hospitals throughout Night City, with injuries caused by malfunctions in illegally purchased cyberware. Unauthenticated implants have caused several fatal short circuits. They wouldn't just off her like that. Not yet. To buy only from licensed manufacturers. It's worth the investment. Numerous nomad caravans have appeared near city limits in North Oak and Charter Hill. Some reports suggest some of the violent vagrants may have entered Night City despite the NCPD's best They wouldn't efforts. just off her like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. Now today's final story. An NCART station is stunned by a bloody massacre. The unidentified assailant opened fire on passengers waiting for the train on Platform 2 at Med Center. Ten people are confirmed dead and 16 injured. We advise night citizens to thoroughly consider all transport options to find the safest solution. Thanks for tuning in to WNS News. Stay safe out there, Night City. And here we are. We're going in. Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right, going in.
walls. Grab a crate and get your ass moving. It's my break. Chill. All right. I've been shopping Chrome for fun, so I'm telling you, we don't do breaks. Well, I've been here for days, doing nothing but moving crates, and I fucking quit. Holy shit! Shit bird, I'm talking to you! I'll got you like a pig! Heard shots. You still alive? I'm here. Got no time to creep around. Got the blueprint. Be there in a sec. Try to find a way to go without Got him!
Found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping. We don't have enough methionine huh? for today's batch. <laughs> Cuff 
Zephyrus. Classic. Can't go wrong. Gutted out all their implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Scavs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Я тебя урою нахер! Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. <laughs> 
Wait until I cut her link. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? Doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. She's got to be seriously traumatized. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Smoking's for posers, and it stinks, too. Say whatever the fuck you want, but just light up. No. Non-smokers are the fucking worst. Just my luck. We going in? Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go. Oh, shit, not good. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed, and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Okay, show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit. Hey, how you feeling? You need anything? I'm not here to nag. Just talk. I know it's a bad time. But I gotta ask, have you got any idea how to remove the biochip? Or know anyone else who might? Listen, Evelyn. I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything, and do it soon, I'll die. You're right. This is a complete waste of time. Have a seat. All right. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy. But I did what I could. <laughs> what am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech. Here, 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 here,
What am I looking out for? Take a look around if you want. Every. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them? Every single piece of Ooh. tech I see, security. The we need boys, a layout of the whole. That's just a hunch. We will get everything else sure. we need from the virtual. The spine chiller. What about his messages? Hard to find because they don't Only want to. Only if you can do it. Anyway. I wouldn't know where to start. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual, relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, should I? Bioship. See the who you sure are. Might not be important. Maybe. All of them are from Pacifica. Now's down our search at least. And if he starts talking about the biochip bio himself, will you hear this? Should I That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue? You come back here, we give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is no the rest is none of your concern. Understand. Tech I see, security. We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtual. Only if you can do it in me. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself? Can't see your face. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious yeah. net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. All right, think we got everything. What do you think? What's up with you? Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me? If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into? Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. Let's see what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Fine. Just found the auto translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you direct to Alt. You're going to be one leader? Very well. Si vous décidez si c'est bon critiquer ça me pense, à continuer à faire travail. Très bien. Ok, Jim, si vous êtes bon critiquer ça me pense, à continuer à faire travail.
I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Long story, trust me. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Now's not the best time. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that Netrunner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? Wait. You got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why? Worried they'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's got to know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Huh. Interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. Then I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. Is that all you have to say? And she's nice. Six out of ten. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if he can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. Let me go, please. 